I feel the sun, I feel the sea, I feel... I have a cold and I'm still in Paris, but it's open the gate and tonight my guest is Denise Marchibou. Marchibou Boo, here she is, just arrived from Mexico City. Hola, saludos desde México a París. <laughs> Thank you for coming here, Denise. Thank Welcome to Open much. the Gate. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. When I saw that you were in Paris, I really had to jump on you because I really wanted to introduce you to our amazing audience because oh. you are a little precious thing from Mexico and uh, we are not lucky enough to have more people like you in Paris. So oh. let's talk about you today. Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> She goes besos, for... Besos, besos, besos. <laughs> Besitos everywhere. Besitos en todo el cuerpo. <laughs> She's uh, in the mood. <laughs> uh, from beach underwear to performances to fashion yes. to little shop tienda. Shop tienda. To yes. a bit Finca. of everything. You are a lot of uh, energy. I'm young still. So <laughs> yeah. Does it look like She's extremely young. A repertoire. Aren't we all? <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, there is many things to talk about today. But the first of the thing that I would like to uh, suggest. Oh, thank you, Vanessa Pinto, for being Van here tonight. <laughs> I, I, I feel your work will be all over the place on this set, which I really don't mind. We all love what you do. It looks amazing, by the way. It looks gorgeous. Can you tell us a bit your parkour, how you started to be interested about performance and how you finally got to this underwear business? To the whole business of the bathing suit? Well, my good friend EGR, Enrique Gonzalez Rangel, he's my uh, co-partner co with Clinica Store. And he's my best friend since we were like in high school. Yes. So we were like the only two crazy, tranny, a duet. thinking duets, you know. So we started very young. He liked tr thinking, oh, let's do this performance and I would love it. And Madame Hollywood came. Okay. Madame Hollywood. Madame is Hollywood. Hollywood is how I came, my persona. Because I'm from uh, originally from Los Angeles, California. Okay. And I was raised in Hollywood. Okay. So. so I mean, okay. you are using other identity to express someone inside of you. Yes. That's your performance I work. Feel, I just feel like since I was a little girl, like I was trapped in a gay, like a gay little boy, like thinking like all this craziness and colors and just coming out, you know? So that's, that's my, my whole being. It's not usual because normally it's the other way around. Normally it's the other way around. <laughs> like a little gay boy would say like, I am a woman I'm trapped a woman. in a man's body. Yeah, and so I feel like a little boy trapped, you know, in a woman's body being outrageous. Yeah. You never thought about going further and working on your body as becoming a, a transgender, a transgender uh, yes. identity? I have, to, I have to say a little, I got a plastic surgery. Yes. It's something I've always wanted to do, you know, like... I, that transforming the body to me is like very amazing. So I, I really respect everybody that has like plastic surgery. If yes. you make it feel better, you make your own persona. And I think it's great. You know? May I ask you which, uh, which work you did on yourself? <laughs> I'm very curious. Pechos, <laughs> boobies. <laughs> yes. Poquito liposuction. <laughs> Just sculpture the body. Just sculpture the know? body. Okay. Is that when you when you're like absolutely natural? Is there like people thinking that you are a, a transsexual? Or, yes. yes, it's really it's really crazy. I get this like since every like before even I got plastic surgery because I've always wanted to go out and clubs and really outrageous and I have lots of group of gay friends, so they always think I'm a, I'm a guy. Okay. And I always get that, or even on the streets, normally they're like, hmm, boy, girl. Okay. You know, it's a boy or girl thing. How is the scene in Mexico, like the club scene and the fashion scene? How does it uh, happen for you? How did you get into this? It's, it's, I think it's upcoming Mexico City. Like, there's so much freaks, like cool freaks, you mm -hmm. know, in Mexico City. And that, to me, the fashion is evolving now. So we, like, the young crowd is, like, pushing to do more fashion and more, like, uh, avant-garde. Okay. You know? Work. Hello, Vanessa, again. Hello. Denise, how is the scene in Mexico, this fashion, performative, artist scene? How did you get into this? Uh, I have friends that are... Because I, I mean, I was living in Hollywood, raised in Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. So we went to Mexico City mm -hmm. and we started to going out in clubs and things like that. And okay. that's how we started to meet people. And did you really like uh, started like a new area, you feel? Yes, I think... We, we, I lived in London yeah. with my best friend, Enrique Gonzalez, my, the Clinica store. Yeah. Uh, so we lived in London and we came back to Mexico. We wanted to do like a whole revolution of like, <laughs> club kids. And there yeah. was like this persona, like everybody going crazy at the time. Okay. It was 2007. 
Okay, and happened. how did Mexico react it? They really liked it. Yes? At first they were in shock. They didn't understand like our store, our concept, but they were like, they were nor seeing little by little, like a uh, difference. And I think that's good, like a little change, you know? Now, now Mexico City is to another level. Like I see yeah. this from 2007 to 2013, it's like a boom, you know, okay. it's like really crazy. So the customer that come to buy like a crazy piece or a super bitch underwear, yes. who is your customer now? Because the Mexican for me is very traditional. So yes. how did this new person uh, At first, come to we you? always, we, we had, uh, our customers were always international. I have lots of uh, good friends from Mexico City and from Los Angeles, so Chill West. Mm -hmm. She was our like we love number, Chile. so Chill, she's amazing. She was like our number one client. And we have like uh, DJ clients and actors, actresses. Okay. Yes. Models. So it is happening. Sorry? It is happening. It is happening. Cool. Have Mexico City is happening. Perfect. <laughs> Roman? Yes? I brought you this beautiful candy from, from oh, Mexico. So cute. I hope you enjoy. Is this a special uh, traditional it's Mexican traditional, candy? Special yeah? traditional Why Mexican. Why the cock? I don't, I mean, I love cock, but why the cock? You know Mexicans can be little. Coco Rico. Coco Rico. Cute, I love it. Thank I you so much. I hope you enjoy I, Can it. I lick it now? Yes, you can lick it. Thank <laughs> mm. I love it. Thank Do you, you love so it? much. Yes, oh, so good. So <laughs> Denise, tell I me. I hope you enjoy it. How does this work for you? Because, I mean, you've got the fashion around you, you've got yes. the crazy performers following you everywhere, you've got your crowd, entourage. Oh, entourage. Uh, how does this, um, I mean, what's the meaning of those things? Like, where do you perform and how is the real uh, signification of your work as a performer? Yes. Well, Madame Hollywood, I just do now Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, I used to normally do it like in restaurants. So people would be eating and I would be having all this crazy, like the show and people really accepted it. But even if it was in a straight club, you know, so people started liking more the gender, transgender persona. So that's how I started to okay. like that, uh, being in, in, in uh, normal straight clubs. But now uh, my, my persona as a, a performer, I have a band called The Sheets, Las Sabanas. And it's a whole total, like, uh, it's hip hop, it's a uh, Mexican more, it's a Mexican and cumbia vibe, you know, it's like electronic. So now it's like a whole different thing. Before it was more like uh, acting songs. It was more covers, acting, blah, blah. Now it's more like getting on and writing uh, songs. Oh, super. Is this a way also to promote your fashion work? Yes, too. I mean, it's just, uh, I think crea when you're very creative or anybody has like, dreaming and like this you have to do it like if it's if it's theatrical if it's uh fashion if it's writing you have to express yourself cool yes. there is a bit of uh, this 80s uh, vibes in it you know like this uh, flashy little parts like yes, this it's a tacky vulgar funny tacky. Uh, twist you know like all those patchwork of color yeah see-through flashy the jaguar i really love the jaguar because to me it's like very mexican mm -hmm. it's, it's like if you go to the jungle in mexico like jaguars are the most important animal. It's very like, yeah, strong. True. I love Jaguar for Jaguars. another reason. I yes, love to wear I them. saw your <laughs> amazing coat. <laughs> <laughs> he has amazing coats. <laughs> cool. Is there any project coming for the future? Yes, uh, we're, I'm, I'm going to have two projects that I, I really don't want to say because then you know when sometimes you say a project, it, uh -huh. you have to, it has to come true. So I have two but good things. Tease us, two, tease us, like what? With a, with a, a car. Bit. The car yeah. is a with a company, a car a company. Car company, wow. So we're going to do like a little film for a car company. Wow, super. Yes, it's really cool. And um, another show, uh, another fashion show. But now I'm going to start to do clothing again because I don't want everybody just to think I do bathing suits. Mm -hmm. I do like the whole uh, clothing too. And we can follow your work during the Mexican uh, Mexico City Fashion Week. Yes, you can. And uh, do you think you're going to travel? And maybe there is like other shops in the world where we can find your work. Yes, uh, actually, Sochil West, my friend from Los Angeles, mm -hmm. she has an online shop. Yeah. And she told me to to sell in, in so Los Angeles. So you're going to be starting to, to yes, work with I'll, her. Yes, I want to start to work with Sochil. Amazing. Yes. I hope we can get them for not too expensive price. No, can you tell us like how much would this be in the shop? Well, the thing is, in Mexi Mexican price varies to like American, dollars. American dollars. That would be like uh, $200. Okay, so affordable. Affordable, you know. Excellent. 
this. Earrings also. The earrings. And the fashion line coming soon. Yes, and the fashion line. So Perfect. Wait. Thank you so much, Denise, for I coming thank today. Thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> thank you for the candy. I feel like I'm going to have <laughs> weeks to suck it. <laughs> and I love cocks, so it's perfect. Uh -huh. Bye, Denise. Adios. Ciao, ciao. Gracias por todo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching Open the Gate. It was an amazing episode with Denise Marchebu. I see you next week at 9 o'clock. It's like every Friday, you know, we have nothing else to do. So why don't we just sit down in front of our screen and watch the Open the Gate show. Ciao.